This is one of those comparisons that are very interesting to do. You have the iPhone 13 Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, two of the most powerful phones in the world right now. A lot of the choices consumers make between these two phones are very subjective. You have the Apple ecosystem versus Samsung's, you have iOS versus Android. Like I said, a lot of these choices are based on personal preference. However, there are a few aspects of both phones that are not exactly subjective, especially when it comes to the features and the specs. One phone does something better than the other, or one phone has something that the other doesn't. So in this video, I'm going to break down everything about the iPhone 13 Pro and the Galaxy S22 Ultra and be very objective as much as possible. And at the end, I will give a winner with reasons and why you should get them. Now, let's get this party started. Let's start this off with the size and design. The S22 Ultra is a large phone. It is 6.8 inches and compared to the iPhone 13 Pro that is 6.1 inches, the experiences are vastly different. If you're used to a larger phone or a larger display, then the S22 Ultra is definitely for you. Now speaking of display, the S22 Ultra uses 90% of its screen real estate when it comes to the screen to body ratio. It just makes it look like a more standout phone. Whereas the iPhone 13 Pro only uses 86% screen to body ratio and the top has the notch that houses the face ID, the selfie camera and all around the phone has symmetrical bezels. The S22 Ultra just looks better. It has a more modern touch with the screen that is captivating to look at. When it comes to the body, both phones have a frosted glass back. The S22 Ultra has Gorilla Glass Victus Plus while the iPhone 13 Pro continues to use its ceramic shield. Their frames also differ. With the 13 Pro, it has a stainless steel frame, while the S22 Ultra uses an aluminum frame. Without a doubt, both phones feel very premium in my hand, and for their prices of $1,200 for the Ultra and $1,000 for the 13 Pro, it does feel worth it. Now, I will say the S22 Ultra's design and form factor isn't exactly for everyone. The square or rectangular boxy frame makes it very uncomfortable to use for long periods, but compared to the iPhone 13 Pro, the flat design and the smaller form factor makes it a little bit more comfortable. Like I said, or like I have been saying so far, everything here just boils down to personal preference, what works for you and what exactly doesn't. Looking at everything else, both phones have the power button and the volume button, but on different sides of their phones. At the bottom, you have a USB-C port on the S22 Ultra and the Lightning port on the iPhone 13 Pro. And it also has stereo speakers and of course the S Pen, which is a standout feature and separates it from the iPhone 13 Pro and is a reason to buy the S22 Ultra. The S Pen without a doubt is the S22 Ultra's value proposition or selling points as they say. The S22 Ultra was made for the S Pen and the S Pen was made for the S22 Ultra. You can use the S Pen to navigate the phone, take quick notes on the go, you can also use it to sign documents, translate text, send stylized messages, scribble and draw when you're bored. The S Pen has a lot of endless possibilities and it also has its own button for gesture navigations or you can use it to take pictures. When writing, it delivers a really satisfying feeling with very low latency. I know it doesn't exactly seem fair in comparison to the 13 Pro because Apple doesn't have a compact device that has a stylus with it. You need to get the iPad and the Apple Pencil to do all these features. However, that is exactly the point of this video. If you want to have a compact device that has a stylus and can scribble, draw, and do many, many features on the phone, then the S22 Ultra is one of the few options you have in the smartphone market. We've already talked about the display a bit, but let's look at the viewing experiences on both these phones because there are a few differences here and there. Looking at the S22 Ultra, it has a resolution of 1440 by 3088 with about 500 pixels per inches. Whereas the iPhone 13 Pro has a 1170 by 2532 with about 460 pixels per inch, which makes the S22 Ultra a bit sharper. You can reduce your resolution on the S22 Ultra to get more value on the battery life, but on the iPhone, you're kind of stuck with what comes with the display. Looking at the specs, the S22 Ultra is a dynamic AMOLED 2X panel, whereas the iPhone 13 Pro has the Super Retina Display XDR. Looking at both phones side by side, there isn't much of a difference in picture quality. However, you can change your color profile on the S22 Ultra to suit your taste. Both phones have a smooth 120Hz refresh rate and gives a very responsive feel with each finger scrolling through the screen. 
As far as max brightness goes, the S22 Ultra has a max brightness of 1750 nits as well as the ability to toggle extra brightness. The iPhone 13 Pro maxes out at 1200 nits which isn't as low as you may think. When you're outside, it works pretty well as when you're inside. It is quite evident though that the S22 Ultra is brighter but it's not so far from the iPhone 13 Pro. Both phones offer great viewing experiences but the S22 Ultra is the brighter phone and gives you the ability to customize your display to suit your taste and you also add in that large 6.8 inch display which in this round makes the S22 Ultra the clear winner. It is quite challenging when comparing these two phones in terms of the performance. For starters, the S22 Ultra has the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip or the Exynos 2200 if you're outside the US, whereas the iPhone 13 Pro has the powerful A15 Bionic chip. Now the processors on these phones have been optimized for each phone and what they're capable of. Performance is great on both phones, there aren't any lags or stutters so to speak, but when it comes down to opening apps, it varies. Sometimes the iPhone will open apps quicker, but the S22 Ultra will load everything faster and vice versa. I honestly don't think there is a clear advantage for which phone is faster, but I will say this though, the iPhone 13 Pro is poised to get 5-6, to six, maybe even 7 years of software updates, whereas the S22 Ultra is just going to get 4 years of software updates. So if you are thinking in terms of long term use, iPhone 13 Pro is definitely the way to go. Now let's talk about the battery. Now when it comes to the battery life, they say numbers don't lie, but in this case, the numbers are telling a different story entirely. The S22 Ultra has a 5,000 mAh battery, which is pretty huge, whereas the iPhone 13 Pro has a 3,095 mAh battery. There shouldn't be any competition, however, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip is very power hungry, and this impacts the battery life significantly. Whereas on this more stable A15 Bionic chip, it is well optimized for the iPhone 13 Pro. I get about a day and maybe a few hours of battery life, whereas on the S22 Ultra, it will last me about a day or die a bit earlier before I get home. You can definitely get more battery life if you reduce the refresh rate and screen resolution, but at the end of the day, if I'm paying $1200 for a phone, I definitely want to get all my money's worth and I don't want to be restricted to reducing the features that make me want to even use the phone more. Finally, let's talk about the camera. Honestly, I can do a separate video of a camera comparison, so here I'm going to give a more grounded approach to the cameras between the S22 Ultra and the iPhone 13 Pro. The S22 Ultra comes with 4 cameras at the back and 1 in front. You have the main sensor with a huge 108 megapixels, an ultra wide lens and 2 telephoto lenses with upgraded sensors for 3x and 10x zoom, while the iPhone 13 Pro is a triple camera setup that has a 12 megapixel cameras on all its sensors. The difference here is not so clear between these two phones and I realize it's also very subjective. Megapixels don't tell the entire story because the iPhone 13 Pro is more consistent with its shots than the S22 Ultra, especially when it comes to video. From a user perspective, you will get great shots with both phones. When I tested them, they give good accurate and vibrant colors in good lighting conditions and that also goes for the portrait mode and the ultra wide mode, however, the ultra wide on the S22 Ultra gave more of a softer tone. Both phones have a zoomed in feature, but the S22 Ultra can go as high as 100x and Samsung has perfected this zoom feature, but I wouldn't worry about it a bit too much because you will not use that on a daily basis, but it is a nice to have. Video wise though, even though the S22 Ultra shoots in 8K, the quality of the video on the 13 Pro is unmatched. It is still up there as one of the best video cameras on a smartphone in 2022. So which phone is the right phone for you? If we're speaking objectively and without any other bias, then the S22 Ultra is the only choice. Spec wise, it has a better battery, a better display, a better camera and of course it has that S Pen that the iPhone 13 Pro does not have. However, like I've said at the beginning of this video, everything does boils down to your preference, what you like and what works for you. If you're in the Apple ecosystem and you use many other Apple devices, you probably have turned off this video because you do not really care what Samsung is offering. But if you want the biggest, most specced out phone with a lot of features, then the only choice is the S22 Ultra. But what do you guys think? Do you think the iPhone 13 Pro is better than the S22 Ultra? Comment below and let me know. And guys, if you like this video, please do not forget to click the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I drop more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. My name is KJOS and I will catch you in the next one where we talk all things tech.